sides of crookback bog. Watch your step.
Looks like rain. Place of power. Should draw from it.
of power. Solved your problem. Just in case, though, avoid the Whispering Hillock for a while. Cannot be. Where's something lurking there? An evil spirit had possessed a tree on the hill. It was responsible for the killings. How'd ye dispel this evil? Some being had come to possess the tree's heart. I destroyed the heart and its inhabitant. So it were a ghost? Will it be back? No. The crones, or the ladies of the wood as you call them, said to remind you about payment. Take it you know what they want? Aye, I do. Give me the dagger. Be back soon. Payment. Take it to the ladies, will you? What the hell was that? Tis our pact. Uh, you're a stranger. You don't know life here. It's honest pay for their protection. So, all those ears in the woods... Put it out your mind, master. You soon be leaving and we must tarry on. Our young'uns and their young'uns after them. No gods nor masters watch over Velen. The land is no man's. He who wants to survive... Must seek his own protectors. You're different than you were in the tapestry. Well, bring it here. Never seek to cross us again. We shall forgive you this transgression for you've done well. Your children are plump as piglets, sweet as caramel. But now we must talk to our white-haired friend. I know that, Mark. This is Anna, the wife of the Baron of Crow's Perch. She belongs to no man. A fruit ripened in her womb. A fruit sprouted from seeds sown by a man she detested. We helped her. She agreed to serve. She bears the mark. She is ours. 
Welcome. It is another woman who interests you. Speak, white-haired one. You looked different in the tapestry. We're all dressed up just for you. If you only knew how much time we spent in front of the glass. Do you desire us? You know why I'm here. You know what I want. You shall dream of us and return for what you reject. They always come back. Deal. I did my part, now you do yours. A word once given, we never break. The girl, mousy blonde, that's what they call it. Thin as a nail, terrified, exhausted. She could barely stun the poor thing. We cared for her as best we could. Like she was our own daughter. Wasted affection. She proved a very naughty girl. Mischievous, stubborn, and selfish. Don't believe you. They say you always keep your word. So tell me everything, exactly as it happened. We shall tell you, brave boy. We knew someone's supposed to die. We let beast and players saw the omens. We would glimpse her likeness, a mirage in a puddle. She came from the lower swamp. We knew not at first it was her the omens had spoken of. A child of the elder blood, the soul seed that would burst into flame. She fell into our hands. The blood! Mm, the blood of the traitress. Does she sleep? Like a lamb. Come, sisters, no point in dawdling. The table's set. The cauldron bubbles. We cannot. You know she is meant for him. Emirith will get her. He will. But not whole. <laughs> well said. We'll just have a sample. I'll take her feet. Lovely. Mm -hmm. And plump. Perfect for a broth. Oh, I can taste it already. Very well. Get on with it. You'll regret that girl. Regret it dearly.
tried to kill her. Tried to butcher her like an animal and eat her. Her blood. The taste brought back memories of our youth. Elder blood. Extraordinary girl. But you know that. Such a shame she fled. She escaped you, but I'll find her. We'll come back here together and kill you. Your return, you shall. Our fates are bound. And one will die. But it shan't be one of us. Now you shall chase shadows and wander midst fog. Each time you see her, she will be a mirage. And if you find her, if the girl <laughs> will die in the same handsome night. Come on. Move it. Not one step closer.
Time to water the horses. Hope may I assist you. Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. So long. Hmm. Oh. Oh, can't in a field. In down morning, when I went to Tink's Hill, they sent her to the woods for kindling, where beasts devour. <coughs> Listening, what do you come to me with? Got news of your wife. Plowing hell, why'd you not say so forthwith? Where is she? Why have you not returned with her? She's in Crookback Bog. Got food, a place to live, and keeps herself busy. Didn't look like she had the slightest desire to leave. You were to bring her back, not report on the condition she lives under! I was supposed to find her, and I did. That was our deal, nothing more. You still think me rotten to the core? A base bastard, don't you? You believe I alone am at fault for what happened here?
doesn't matter what I believe. Yet, looking at you, I see contempt. Can't speak for the world you witches inhabit, but in ours, nothing is ever black and white. Probably gonna say you're not the only one to blame. All right then, I'm willing to hear your side of the story. With Annie, it was love at first sight. A spear tore through my shoulder at the Battle of Anchor. She tended to my wound. Once I'd recovered, I asked her to marry me. She wept with joy. Soon after, Tamara was born. And after that, they sent me to Sidaris. A warlord had risen against King Athen, and Faltest sent help. It was one battle to the next, one conflict after another. It was a life of war. I was seldom home, and I found comfort in drink. Grew so fond of hooch, I couldn't part with it when I did get home. All right. What then? I went from front to front, battle to battle, collecting soldiers' coin, while Anna sat alone with the babe for months. Later, I learned she'd not been so alone after all. For nearly three years, she'd found comfort in the arms of one Evan, a childhood friend, a dog's bunghole. Understand, damn it? One tussle in the hay I'd have waved aside, put it out of my mind. But the woman cuckolded me for years, without a whisker of concern for me, for my love. How'd you find out? Came home one day and Anna was gone. The things too. Found a letter. She wrote that she didn't love me. That she'd left me for that knob liquor and taken Tamara with her. Felt like I'd been rammed in the arse by a horse. I went to find the bugger, to get the girls back, bring them home. Yet soon as I saw him, something turned inside me, something dark. I slaughtered the shit-eating twat and fed his carcass to the dogs. Guess they call you the Bloody Baron for a reason after all. What? Your nickname. Makes sense now. No, no, that's an entirely different story. Imagine Anna wasn't exactly pleased. Ha! Bloody understatement if I've ever heard one. She flew into a fit. Hysteria. Threw herself at me, kicking and clawing. Finally grabbed a knife. It would have been the end of me if I'd not leapt aside. It was the first time I hit her. I had to calm her. Felt I had no other means. Things changed. They would never be the same. Anna tried to take her own life, and mine, several times. She would prod me, goad me, taunt me, in the hope I would hit her again, perhaps. She'd scream that I'd robbed her a life of love, that I'd destroyed the idea for her and so I might as well kill her. How many times I apologized. How many armfuls of blooms and gifts I brought. She cared not a bit. Two years of her anger had turned to indifference. Broken at times were her bouts of hysteria and my bouts of drunkenness. Cannot fathom how we survived those years, but we did. Though as you know now, not everything was as it might have seemed. You're right. 
faults on both sides, yours and hers. I'm content that you finally see that. Very well, then. If you won't bring Anna home, you might at least tell me how she landed in that blasted swamp. She made a pact with the crones and, well, I think she might have lost her mind. A pact? What the bloody hell? She was with child, a child she didn't want to bear. Went to the crones for help. They promised to rid her of the problem in exchange for a year of her service. And they kept their word in their own twisted way. What do you mean? Anna must have thought the child inside her would somehow disappear. Instead, the crones sapped her of strength and ultimately forced her body to miscarry. I think that's when she started to lose her mind. Then they placed magic tethers on her, tethers that cause great pain when tested. A guarantee she'll pay off her debt. A pact with witches? Bloody nightmare, sounds like some jest. We must get her out. We can't leave her there. Venturing into the swamp, even with armed men, is just a bad idea. It's a dangerous place, inherently. And I think those crones are a greater threat than anyone realizes. I'll not sit on my ass waiting for them to return her. Would you wait? Count on their mercy if they had your daughter? Probably not. But I'm a witcher. And I'm a husband and a father who's fucked off his life and the lives of his loved ones. I'll gather my men. Go there and retrieve Anna. We had a deal. I've done my part. Your turn to do yours. A word once given. Now what did I last? Basilisk. It had just attacked you. Ah, right. Gargantuan. One solid brute. It landed right in front of us. <laughs> You've done last. Watch out! If I don't survive this, you're to take whatever you want from the fortress. You'll survive! <sighs> Let's show this bastard what we're worth!
like that. You have everything? Yes, thank you. What you did for me, I, I shall never forget it. You helped me as well. When your man brought me here. You fed me, cared for me, had my wounds looked after. We're even now. You needn't leave. You're in good company here. We'll always have a warm corner for you. I must leave. Wraiths pursue me. The Wild Hunt. I was foolish to use the power. They're sure to have caught my scent. The Wild Hunt? Pursuing you? I'll endanger all of you by remaining here. You must tell the people to bar their doors and windows. And no one is to wander the night. And you? Where do you think you're going? Now, I ride for Novigrad. And then, who knows where. She mounted and rode off. It grew awfully empty without her. Danian armies blocked the Pontar crossing, yet you sent Ciri to Novigrad. She was looking for a sorceress, and all of them are in Novigrad. Besides, I didn't leave her at the Redanians' mercy. I gave her a letter of safe conduct. Where'd you get these letters? Haven't always led this pack of jesters. Served in the Temerian army once. Redanians guard the crossing. True. But with a bit of fame and a friend here and there, well, banners and heraldry don't mean so much. So there's a chance Ciri's still in Novigrad. Thanks for helping her. It's nothing. Now you've learned what you wanted to know, you must be in a hurry. But, if you could, 
spit it out. I want to go get Anna. Free her. Bring her back. I don't believe she's there willingly. Must have not heard me. Any journey into the swamp is suicide. I heard you. Which is why I could use your aid. I've no more tales of Siri to offer you. But go with me and I'll be generous with what I do have. Very generous. Hmm. Extra coin never hurt. Ha! True indeed. I'll round up my men and ride to Down Warren. You can join us there. Fine. Sounds good. What was that? You tell me. Man or monster? My men call him Uma and say he's a beast. But he seems a man to me. Just hideous as idle shit. Hmm. Doesn't look like a monster. But my medallion's trembling. Strange. Where'd you find him? Funny story, actually. I won him in a game of cards. Funny story? How so? I went to Novigrad once, to rest, indulge in the city's pleasures. Stayed at a tavern, and some folk there were playing, so I joined in. Cards were kind that day. Had one devilish hand after another. Robbed the horsons blind. One fellow, a merchant, took it especially hard. He'd gambled away everything he'd brought from Skellige. Wanted terribly to play another hand, so I agreed. Asked him what he had to wager, and he showed me that sideshow. Not much in it for me, but fuck it, I thought. I'll give the man a chance to win something back. Luck was not with him, and Uma wound up here at Crow's Perch. End of story. Proper Baron now. Even got a jester. Aye. Now I feel something's not right with him. How so? Well, he seems more beast than man. But there's wisdom, cunning in the bastard's eyes. Or maybe I'm imagining it. Ever run into anything like him? No, but he doesn't look dangerous. Hmm. I guess that's that. Doesn't eat much, so as long as he's no trouble, the boys might as well have some diversion. Time I was on my way. So long. Farewell. I hope you find your daughter. And prove a good father to her. And we're forever getting tossed at the tavern.
past the rush. Oh, freak. Fancy an outing to find that she be. In the Smiths, lass. Get tooth one. Not a bad idea. Nice tits on it. Mm. Uh, I'm talking about they watch it, he's not. not at all. I beg you. I'm innocent, I swear. Guess it was profit, let me order it. Howling. Sir, boy, we're up our noses in frights and horrors. Imps, some of his mammals, flying drakes, points. Buy in or just peruse him? Show me what you've got on offer.
so long. Hmm. No, I'm staying here. Looking for a hunter named Neelan. Found him. What do you want? Hear about your notice. I'm a witcher. When do you last see your wife? Five days past, before dawn. On my way out to hunt, she were asleep. I come back, I have no sign of her. Notice anything strange? Maybe her behavior? No. She were her happy, smiling self. Nothing different, Elaine. She's not run off, if that's what you're asking. Maybe she went to the neighboring village, forgot to tell you. No. My sister were never gone this long before. Tried looking for her? Asked around the village, none saw her go. She must have left when they were still sleeping. Told her time and again not to wander off on her own. She never listened. I must have some menfolk to scour the woods. Nothing. Oh, look in the woods. You might have missed something. Ask around, too. She have any friends? Hannah kept... Keeps to herself, mostly. Watches the blacksmith's youngins at times. And in the village, Glenna, the butcher's wife, she likes her best. Thanks. I'll try to find her, but no promises. Greetings, you Glenna. Aye. But gristle and marrow is all I'm willing to sell, and you'll have to wait till I'm done carving it. You the butcher's wife? Butcher? Please. Might have called him a butcher when we lived in the shade of Novigrad's walls. Now he deals in carrion, fallen animals, their bones still fit for soup. So, buying something? Wanted to talk to you about Hannah. Hear you were friendly. She come by at times? We talk? She seems strange lately. Any idea where she might have gone? Hmm. Strange. No? A cheerful soul always. If I'm to judge, it's the wolves got her. Been howling the nights through lately. Even the Baron's men are feared to come by. Hannah must have gone to the wood to gather mushrooms, maybe. Straight too deep and the howlers got her. Thanks. Farewell. Wow. My dad used to make swords like yours. Can I touch it? It's sharp. Better not. Need to talk to your father. I forged swords once. Now it's sides and o's. For good arms, we'll need to go to Novigrad. Wanted to ask you about Hannah. Heard she looked after your children. Uh, Hannah? Do you know where she is? No, that's why I'm here. She maybe tell you where she was going, or anything else? Mm. She said turnips are healthy, and we ought to eat them. I saw her go to the forest, with another lady. It was dawn almost. I'd gone out so I wouldn't wet the pallet. The forest? She's done for. Why? A huge pack roams the area. None from the village dares go in the forest. Neelan's only one not afeard, but then he's a hunter. Did you get a good look at the other woman? Know who it was? No. She walked in front of Aunt Hannah. I couldn't see. Thanks. Farewell.
Ugly bastard. alone. I came to tell you. You needn't look for Hannah. She'd have returned long past were she alive. I'll pay you twice Neilan's pledge. Just tell the man his Hannah's dead. Don't want to know what happened to her? I've no illusions, Witcher. In Velen, you're gone as long as she's been. You don't come back. Hannah's dead for certain. Neilan ought to accept his loss. Move on with his life. Strange. People usually prefer to know the fate of their loved ones, whatever the cost. What good will it do? I'll not get my sister back. And Neelan's all I got left. I can't lose him too. And, well, he'll not rest till he avenges his Hannah, even if it eats up his life. The man deserves better. Sorry, not in the habit of leaving jobs undone. Folks speak true about you witchers. You're heartless beasts. this. Hmm. Cuts. Made with long claws. Flesh torn clear off. This is getting interesting. Claw marks. Deep. doubt about it. Gotta be careful. Blood and paw marks. Wonder where they lead. Shit. Climbed the tree. I can't get up there. Maybe find something else on the ground.
shit. Climbed the tree. I can't get up there. Maybe find something else on the ground. Tough to fur. Uh, whatever lost it hasn't bathed in a while. clothes. Shredded, but no sign of blood. Who rips their own clothes off, leaves them in the woods? Looks like a hunter's quarters.
we need to talk. It's Nalen! Lycanthropy can afflict anyone, but it is a curse, so sorry, but I have to. You don't understand! I love him! He was near to being mine till you came along! Go away! Leave us be! Not till I find out what's going on here. I love him. Always have. Even after I'd learned his secret. You... You knew? Did you know I shot myself in here to wait out me change? I knew, and I didn't mind. But you chose Hannah. I wanted her to see you. I wanted her to fear you. She'd not have stayed. And we could be together. You brought her here. That night. That was the reason I had the taste of blood in me mouth come morn. I did it for us. She was to see you turn, not more. I didn't want her death. You've got to believe me. I don't. And I'll kill you willingly. First time for that, in fact. You won't kill anyone, ever again. No! Don't hurt him! Get out of here before I change my mind. Run. Sorry it had to end this way. Notes. Wonder whose.
so, but What's we militated. What's he doing here? It'll pay off, they say. Some to us. Hey! Sod off! We're looting here! Want you gone by the time I count to three. One. Hear that? Two. Ooh, look he! Thinks he can scare us off! Three. Split it. Plenty here for everyone. I'm not a thief. Looking for the sorceress who lived here. Most likely I did in some rat trap with the rest of them. Who's she hiding from? Temple Gods cracking down. All mages are fair game. Yeah, they round them up like rats. Someone's got to know more. I'd look for her in a putrid grove. Putrid grove. Where is it? I wouldn't know. Rumor has it, it's a place for freaks and oddities. You'd fit in well there. Maybe. Thing is, got to know how to get there. They say you've got to get there through the sewers. But you've got to enter them outside of town. Few know where exactly, though. Ask a beggar. Or spot yourself a thief. Follow him. Beggars and thieves got to pay tribute to the king of beggars. Word is, they do it in the grove. Mean to say the local beggars have a king? Crown, scepter, and all that? Wouldn't scoff, mate. King of beggars, it's a moniker. Yeah, for a man who everyone in Novigrad respects deeply. And watch yourself. Menger himself don't even go to the grove. Someone call for me. Wonder why. Miss Menger. Temple God! Thieving vermin to the confession chamber. What, but sir, what's the offence? This is some sorceress bitchy shop. Think that gives you the right to steal her property? Well... Sorcerers, mages of all types, are outlaws. But by law, the Temple Guard takes possession of their belongings, and the rule of law still holds in Novigrad. You know a bat can sniff out a moth a mile away. Got nothing to do with their sense of smell. It's about their hearing. Well, well. Man knows his bats. Here I thought you only cared about monsters. And as bats sense moths, so I sense freaks. And start by warning them. Novigrad's no place for your kind. I haven't done anything wrong. But you will. Sooner or later, your sort always causes trouble. And this city's mine to protect. Mine, and the Eternal Fires. Nothing I can do to you now, but just know that I know you're here. One misstep, one error, you'll make a mistake, it's inevitable. I'll be the first to learn of it, and when I do, it'll be standard procedure. Like for every magic oddity who dares taint this city's air. Be seeing you.
roots. Just turn to healing. Brush. Only ever known Triss to use one like this. are emanating magic. Gotta be Triss's. She was allergic to potions. Misses. Never knew her to drop him on the floor. The Rose of Remembrance. All dried up.
deepest apologies, Governor. Fetch some metal, you wretch. I've been robbed! Thief! True, Albino. Next, discretionary tribute to benefit Redania or exile. In short, who kisses your ass today will bite it tomorrow. Wouldn't be so there must be order. onions and oil. Eat at the Kingfisher. You're sorted for at least two days. Just gotta just look at position where they toss the leftovers. Take pity on me, misery, good folk, and aid a man crippled by misfortune. Word is, nothing's free in Novigrad. Oh, now the one come bursting with questions. Now, where do you folk gain the idea we beggars know everything? I need to see this, and I need to find that one who robbed me brother. Fuck if I know. There's this place in Novigrad they call the Putrid Grove. Aye, it's about right. Well, Novigrad's full of nooks and crannies with odd names. Looking to sightsee by a bloody map. Heard men like you frequent this alley. And I've heard they fed you all shit and you smiled and ate it. Now, don't make no offence. Go in peace. Sorted for at least two days. Just gotta just the good position where they toss the lift overs. La 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 I'll give you some coin, but you gotta tell me where the putrid grove is. I don't know that. Keep your coin, I don't know a thing. Move on! Be gone!
spare a couple or two. Let me know this wound. Geralt of Rivia. Suspicious to me, tramp. Ah! Don't touch me. They ought to never let your kind in, no regret proper. It's clear that you want to play in my head. The reapers come for me. Come in my right hand. And over me coffin sing this cheer. She's a country lass. Can't read, can't write. Officer, no trade taking a rest for witch hunting. You're surprised to be if she's selling her your honour. Good to see you again. Bring us the usual. Of course. Keep this up and you'll earn yourselves a preferential rate. Good, I enjoy shaking. Open up. Who are you and what you want? Doing some sightseeing. Kind of curious about what's beyond this gate. Me brother-in-law was curious. Worms. Been eating him for five years now. Take a look. What do you see? Yellow eyes. Pair of swords. Mutated killer, me thinks. Heard this place was a meeting spot for oddities. Heard right. Know the password, get him free. Don't know it. Gotta to contribute to the Graves upkeep. Don't know the password. Pay up then. Catch. You may enter. Oh, right after you leave me your weapons. They'll be safe in the locker. Not in the habit of parting with my swords. In that case, we must part. Sod off now. Open up. Oh, my old friend there. Oh, right after you leave me your weapons. They'll be safe in the locker. Fine. Make sure you don't lose them. No worries. Be waiting for you once you're done with the king. We made something clear, sorceress. Yes, high time. Me and my men will manage just fine without the help of you or any other mages. But you, well, without our help, you're sitting ducks for the temple guard. Who do I spy? Geralt? Atreus. See you two know each other. See you two know each other well. I was curious whether you'd managed to find me, Witcher. Am I mistaken, or you got something to take up with me? Who knows? Man with two swords and the skill to use them could be very useful these days. Could have sent some underling to fetch me. Could have. But I admit I wanted to see how you'd manage. See if you're as crafty as you are 
Well crafted. See, Witcher? I've got plans. Big plans. Far-reaching plans to reshape this city head to toe. Ever thought of seeking a seat on the City Council? City Council is a puppet troop with a hierarchy of the Church of the Eternal Fire as its puppeteer. Until recently, that is, when Radovid and his witch hunters took the reins. The semblance of power don't interest me. A man with a vision. One day, the so-called free city of Novigrad will be truly free. But before that can happen, we've got a riddick of superstition farting around about the hallowed essence of the eternal fire. Nonsense for kiddies. Apparently not. Cheering crowd at the execution. Mostly adults. Any crowd a rabble will cheer to the stench of burning flesh. But one day, folk will understand the eternal fire's naught but a leash around their necks. They call this place the Putrid Grove, but it's the rest of Novigrad that's putrefied. This year's the last bastion of normality, sanity, reason. I'm actually glad someone like you's found his way to our city, because it will be our city one day, Geralt. Mark my words. Yours, plural. Yeah, mine. And me friends. But that's a tale for another time. For now, I'll leave you two alone. Because I can see, well, you clearly need it. Geralt, I have a lot of things to take care of in town. I'll be glad to tag along. What's your arrangement? He using you? Helping me to survive, actually. Six months ago, if somebody said Triss Marigold would be working for a Novigrad criminal, I'd never have believed it. Six months ago, Triss Marigold parted with someone very dear to her and had to start anew. Hasn't turned out like I imagined. Come on. Let me give you a taste of my life. <laughs> 